exactly this day in the year 1962 that is the 9th of October in Uganda that was a day that we had our independence a day that people imagine people who imagined it people who dreamt about it people who are willing to work for it they were in the business of doing something to make sure that the day came to pass and exactly the 58 years ago that's when we gained our independence oh how happy i am as a ugandan i know so many of you are in the business of this happiness and jubilation and seeing the fact that we end this day on a good note but to those who in charge, who are in charge, the NRM colleagues, the guys who are in charge, they think this is an NRM day. But it's a happy day today. I don't want to be rude. I do not want to, to, to speak with uh, a lot of hunger and hate about all what is going on in Uganda. But I wish that the people who fought for this day were taken into consideration. They were given a chance to think along the line of things that they cared about, things that they called and held very dear into their hearts. That is what I care about. It's not an NRM day. It's not UPC day. It was Ugandans' independence. It's for all Ugandans. And regardless of your party, we have got to join in jubilation to see that we Ugandans are in the business of making the state at which Uganda is. We are making her much better than what we found. Though others are in the business of working her to the bones, they want to consume her to the bones, I hold a different view. And going forward, we we'll need us men and women from this beloved continent, from this beloved country, Uganda, the continent of Africa, in Uganda, we have got to ask the bigger question. What's the bigger question? We've got to ask ourselves, men and women, are we really free in Uganda, the pearl of Africa? So beautiful, so rich, but yet we can't feed our own people. Are we free indeed if we are seeing men and women being brutalized on the streets of Kampala, if not Gulu or Kavale or Mbale or Kasese or Fort Porto? Are we really free if we are seeing our poor widows going to hospitals without medicine they are going to produce in darkness? Are we really free? Are we really free if we have places where people can connect on roads which are not easily navigable? You know, they cannot navigate through them. Are we really free if we are seeing our poor men and women suffering, the lack of job, you know, people being under, you know, being people being treated with a lot of impunity, people are not respecting the the the, the, the rule of law, they are raping her and attacking her left and right. The August house, which should have been the most respected house, being infiltrated on by the police and the security personnel without notice of the speaker. Are we really free, Ugandans? It's a happy day, Ugandans. But I wish we can be able to see children who are not going under malnutrition, for example, in Karamoja. If I long forward to the day and age where we are not seeing more of the street kids on Kampalas, I long forward to the day and age where doctors, teachers, nurses are taken well care of, that they have more money, that they are paid, that they do not have to go to strike so that they get some bit of money in their pockets. I long forward to the day and age where tourism is made for the benefit of the whole country, not just a few minority, those who are rich, those who are well placed, those who are privileged with the current systems that we have in place. 
I long forward to the day and age where political leadership is not taken as serious as it is like people are seeing it as if it is a well-paid casino that everyone should go into the business of politics in order to, for one to be rich. I long forward to the day and age where our oil that we have got is made to help the common one a inch. That our poor children are able to go to institutions of higher learning on, you know, the, the junior and the senior levels of education that they have all the facilities they need to make sure that they study right, to make sure they have been availed the opportunity to be innovative and creative, to do things in a manner that the other worlds are doing like China or USA because they care about what their people need and they are in the business of making that country to work for their own people. How I wish we could turn to that. How I wish we could be seeing that in place. I long forward to the day and age where we are seeing progress. Like in the early 70s where Uganda was progressing across Sub-Saharan Africa. One of the most prominent one that you could see in East Africa, across Sub-Saharan Africa, it was in the business of, you know, working things out for the common people. That men and women were rising up even in the darkness, you know, they were in the business of working out things for, the, for their nation. Regardless of their party, regardless of their sex, people were alive and well, even in the dark, to work and build the Uganda we deserve. I long forward to the day and age where women and men, beautiful and handsome as they are, are in the business of creating jobs. They are in the business of availing, you know, quite phenomenal opportunities for people to get jobs, to go for industrialization, to go for agriculture, to give, you know, that deserving amount to agriculture that we do not have our people going hungry. I long forward to the day and age where our banking systems are in the place and they are in support of our local entrepreneurs rather than thinking that they are operating in the space of maybe New York or China in, you know, or Singapore or something like that. Because we deserve to extend soft loans. They do not need to be expensive. They do not need to be cheap. But they can be expensive, but they can be repaid in the long term. 15, 20 years given to our entrepreneurs, they can do something for their for themselves and they are to create businesses that are based on visions and philosophies that are going to solve the world's problem. Because until when we Africans have asked the, the, the bigger question of what are we offering to the world, what have we done that has made the world to shift their path on doing something, that is when we are going to be people who are going to matter to the rest of the world. If we haven't made any enormous progress towards human development, towards human capital, towards a lot of things that are going around the world, if we have not innovated stuff to change the world's perspective, let's not be deluded we will always continue to remain very feral in the world's business. I long forward to the day and age where our security personnel are in the business of creating a Uganda that works for all of us, that they and their jobs are not just to protect the regime which is in charge, but rather to be alive and well to protect the common men and women and to be alive and and you know to see that the army are just to protect our territories, not to brutalize and to harm the students in Makerere University, not to to be on the streets to quell down crowds because it is you know mandatory for citizens to go on the streets and say this is not right. And the police job is to protect them with their properties, not to quell down their progress, not to quell down whatever uh, thing they are portraying.
And by the way, listen to these guys who goes to service protests. Service delivery protests are always attended, you know, by the people who are, you know, who are put out, those who are not in the middle class, those who are marginalized, the, the downtrodden, those who are not seeing the progress in our, you know, the, the, the economy of our, our nation. And if you are in a middle class, you don't have time for a service delivery protest because you are busy thinking of how do you pay your loan? How do you, you know, service your credit card? How do you pay fuel into your car? You don't have time because you are the privileged few. You have something that you can ponder about. How I wish that we could have that human heart to think about people who are the common men and women who matter to our world. I long forward to the day and age where electoral commission are in the business of working not to the interests of the people, the appointees, the people who appoint them, who give them the job, but rather the interests of Ugandans. Because that's what Ugandans deserve. I long forward to have them be independent enough to allow, you know, people who have been elected duly by the people to be given a chance to lead, to rule, to, to not to rule. I mean, we have got to avoid things of dictatorship if we are to rise up and do things in a manner that is going to help us go forward. I long forward to the day and age where we have youths having employment. We are going through industrializations which are giving us the jobs. We have been afforded the opportunity to be innovative and creative, to support people who are rising up, people who are doing things that are of importance. I long forward to the day and age where sports and athletics is given the necessary measure that they deserve, that they do not need to just only think about, you know, you know, chapter gay after winning world records after the last that he won again on the eighth, you know, you know, in Valencia, that they recognize them only the, on the day that they are raising the flag of Uganda high. But I long forward to the day and age where we are going to support our sportsmen because they too matters. They too have got to be given the necessary attention to make sure that we all work and make sure that we have a Uganda that works for all of us, you know, that we should make this independence a day for everyone to celebrate as Ugandans, to be proud of the independence, not as of the regime or something that you have to talk about the, the benefit or what contribution one man has done in the last 35 years because Uganda has always been there and we have been there for the last 58 years since independence. Thank you so much ladies and gentlemen. Take care of yourself. I look forward to seeing that brighter day. I see a Uganda that works for all of us. That sons and daughters of our soil, our land, the beautiful part of Africa are well taken care of. They are in the business of working things to see that the Uganda is working without impunity with, you know, People have the rule of law in place that sons and daughters are going to education systems that work for all of us, that we see our poor women going to hospitals with medicine, ambulances in place, doctors are well taken care of, the doctors, the teachers, they are well taken care of, that they do not need to go to strike to get paid to get pay, to get payments. They do not need to go to the streets of Kampala. I long forward to the day and age where our oil will be used to our advantage. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I see days when Ugandans shall be thriving. They will be on the right path. And I see that 20 years from now, Ugandans will be so far ahead. I look forward to that day.
I long forward to the day and age where our political leadership is not looked at as a you know a, a casino that everybody who wants to get rich they have got to go and hold that office the MPs job you know I long forward to the day and age where our kids uh, our importance uh, where our kids the future that holds and to them is more important than the cutthroat competitions that we hold about our political uh, you know situation and we are living in a politically turbulent time and I wish that we need to make the necessary adjustment to see that a Uganda that works for all of us is put right in place. Thank you so much ladies and gentlemen. Peace from me to you. Take good care of yourself.